village laws are still causing a huge divide between Jewish and secular Airmont residents. Yeah, News 12's Karen Hua is listening in on their public meeting tonight, and she joins us from Ramapo Town Hall on how it's going. Karen. Well, Town Hall is actually dark and empty right now because tonight's meeting is virtual. In fact, when we were here back in August, this place was so packed that they abruptly ended the meeting. But now tonight, three hours in, we are still listening in on this meeting. You can see it's still going on as trustee votes are coming in. Order, order, trustee Pizante. I am in charge. This is just one example of tempers flaring over six laws up for debate in Airmont. Welcome to the place where you'll always get a dose of cowardice, corruption, and incompetence. Much of the Jewish community is trying to overturn or amend these six laws to make it easier for them to practice their religion. For instance, they want to park overnight on the street during religious services. But some secular residents, like Danielle Meehan, say that's an issue of public safety. If people are parked in the road, you are, you are slowing down first responders. Another change involves extending the noise curfew. The new proposed hours would ban loud power tools, like your lawnmower, before 10 a.m. on weekends. Meehan worries these changes cater too much to one religious community. We live in a democracy, one group, regardless of what their interests are, does not have the right to put their choice of how other people should live. Besides the laws themselves, many are frustrated they can't voice their concerns in person. Why are you afraid of facing your residents? We are the people paying your taxes um, and you owe answers to people. So Karen, what other laws are the trustees debating? Well, Ian, in just the past few moments, more votes have come in. We know that the noise curfew has been moved to 9 a.m. instead of the originally proposed 10 a.m. We know that people are now allowed to park on the street overnight, and they're also allowed to convert their garages into living spaces for larger families. Those are the three laws that have been voted on so far tonight, but all of them really relate to Jewish services, which is what's causing such a great division in this community. And we actually reached out to Mayor Nathan Bubel earlier today, we called him and he told us, quote, now is not a good time to talk before abruptly hanging up on us. Back to you guys.